Today, we're taking a journey back in time to explore the world of the Scythians, the fierce steppe riders who dominated the Eurasian plains long before the rise of the Mongols. Known for their incredible horsemanship, mastery of archery and distinctive culture, the Scythians left an indelible mark on history. Join us as we delve into the lives, battles and legacy of these early nomadic warriors. Our story begins around the 9th century BCE when the Scythians first emerged on the vast Eurasian steppes, an area stretching from modern-day Ukraine across southern Russia to the Altai Mountains in Central Asia. The steppes, with their endless grasslands, were perfect for nomadic life, allowing the Scythians to develop a culture centered around mobility, horse riding and archery. The Scythians were among the first true nomadic horse riding cultures. Their mastery of horseback riding and archery made them formidable warriors, capable of striking quickly and disappearing just as fast. They were skilled in guerrilla tactics, using speed, surprise and mobility to outmaneuver and outfight more settled armies. One of the most distinctive features of Scythian culture was their use of the composite bow. Made from layers of wood, horn and sinew, the Scythian bow was a powerful weapon capable of shooting arrows over long distances with great accuracy. Combined with their horseback skills, the Scythians were feared across the ancient world as skilled archers who could rain arrows on their enemies from a distance. The Scythians were not just warriors, they were also traders and craftsmen. They controlled major trade routes that connected the Greek world, Persia, India and China. Through these routes, they traded furs, gold and slaves for luxury goods such as Greek pottery, wine and silk. The Scythians were also known for their intricate metalwork, particularly in gold. Scythian artisans created stunning jewellery, weapons and decorations that reflected their nomadic lifestyle and warrior culture. The Scythians left a lasting impression on the ancient world. Herodotus, the Greek historian, wrote extensively about them in the 5th century BCE, describing their customs, clothing and battle tactics. According to Herodotus, the Scythians practiced a form of sky worship and held elaborate funerals for their dead kings, often burying them with horses and treasures in large burial mounds known as kurgans. The Scythian society was organized around clans and tribal federations with powerful chieftains leading their people. While they had no written language, the Scythians maintained a rich oral tradition that passed down their history, myths and legends. Women also played a significant role in Scythian society, with some even becoming warriors. These women, often referred to as Amazons by the Greeks, were skilled in riding and archery, just like their male counterparts. The Scythians clashed with some of the great powers of their time. In the 6th century BCE, they fought against the Persian Empire under King Darius the Most. According to Herodotus, the Scythians employed a clever strategy against the Persian invasion, avoiding direct confrontation and instead using hit-and-run tactics to wear down the enemy. The Persian campaign ended in failure, demonstrating the effectiveness of Scythian warfare. Despite their martial prowess, the Scythians faced challenges in maintaining their dominance. Over time, internal strife, pressure from neighboring tribes and the expansion of other empires weakened their power. By the 3rd century BCE, the Scythian influence had declined significantly. They were eventually supplanted by other nomadic groups, such as the Sarmatians and later the Huns.